contains as photographers, we ask what we actually carry in our bags. Uh, I've just taken delivery of this new, new Low Pro 650 uh, Pro Checker AW. Um, got it to get it in Australia, so we are delivered uh, to my mother in laws in Scotland. I've been using it now for the past few weeks and it's fantastic for Boxer. Uh, it's all my gear in it. Never let me down. It's water, wet and weatherproof. Fantastic. The only issue I've had with it is these little side pockets here. You can see they get caught in branches and they've actually ripped already. That was about the first week. But uh, apart from that, it's absolutely great. So uh, I'll just open it up now and I'll show you what I have inside. So here we have the bag opened. Uh, First of all, I've got my dark cloth. Take that away just now. And as you can see, I have all my equipment in here, everything I actually need. So at the top here, I've got my uh, Shenhao Panoramic, and I've got my 5x4 here. So before, previously, I've always had to use two separate camera bags. I could, uh, always carried the Panoramic in another bag, which meant I had to carry uh, another bag up a hill which wasn't very good um, slippery circumstances uh, here we have my bag of film all well, my roll film is kept in there and here are my uh, roll film holders uh, usually four velvia, two black and white and two portra so they're kept there as I use them I put them at the back uh, lenses I have my 180 here underneath that I've got my 300 this is my 90 and underneath that I've got a 75 which I very rarely use now because it's never worked properly and, and I've actually forgot to bring the um, Lee adapter for it so I can't use filters on it anyway which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I've got my uh, light meter here, my trusty uh, Gossen, uh, never let me down, well I had once but it was quickly fixed by the manufacturers and my cable release. In here I've got my blower, I've got my loop, focus loop, and just some uh, lens cleaning uh, kit here. Um, filters, I, of course I still use film, I've got hundreds and hundreds of those. So Lee filter adapter, uh, notebook uh, for all my notes, as you can see of all my exposures. Um, First Lee filters here, on my ND grads, I have both uh, soft and hard, um, I've also got uh, solid 9 and well, I've got a big stopper, doesn't everybody know, that's kept here, the big stopper, there we go. And in this one here, I've got um, a whole series of 81A warm-up filters, red and orange from black and white. It says sunsets there, I don't have them now, uh, too gimmicky, so I use corals in there. So I've got a couple of corals uh, graduated in there. And I've got a Lee polarized, pol polarizer, which I've hardly used on this trip due to the bad weather. And this big son of a gun, okay, this is the Koken uh, Z Pro series. This is the largest filters you can get on the market. These are used for the panoramics. Uh, to stop vignetting of the, especially when using the polarizer, I got a lot of vignetting, so uh, I have to carry that. So it's a lot of weight to carry, but because I have two systems, I have to carry both uh, sets of filters, and the coking ones are very, very, very heavy. Um, what else have I got in here? So that's everything in the main bag. In the slides, I've got a uh, tool, I've got filter, uh, sorry. Uh, lens tissues just for cleaning lenses. In the side pouches here, I carry a. Oh, this will let you see. So, I have the uh, lens bellows. I only use that really in the, uh, on a normal to telephoto and mainly used to keep the rain off the front of the lens. And at the moment, my 5.4 has got the uh, bag bellows on it. So this is the normal bellows, uh, which I need to use the 300mm lens because the 300mm lens won't work with the bag bellows. There's just not enough uh, uh, 
give on that. Um, nothing in the side one, that's empty. And in the top, I uh, said, just got my lens cloths. And in here, I just keep things like my waterproof trousers, uh, blue tack for sticking filters on, and uh, spare batteries for the light meter, and that's about it. But there's more room there. I'm going to take this off. This can use this as a bum bag, but uh, I'll never ever use it as a bum bag, so I'm going to take this off. It's just extra weight. I don't need it. Uh, so I'm going to take that off very shortly. Uh, it's cut down on the weight. So, there you go now. So that's a quick um, test of, or review really, of the low. GoPro Pro Trek 650 AW rucksack. Hardly recommend it. Um, apart from the said the issues I had with the the, uh, the pockets on the side getting torn, and I've also seen on other reviews which I never use that the, um, the side strap to buckle everything down is uh, you can't get access to the pockets when everything's all strapped down. But I never use those straps anyway. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is. Uh, up at the Bridge of Orkey at the moment. I'm going to head further on up the road uh, to Loch Tulla. Um, hopefully, uh, get some nice pictures up there. Okay, bye now.